today we're gonna make vegan cheese powder. And this is a great recipe because you can just mix all the ingredients into an airtight container, shake it all up really well, and just store it in your pantry for whenever you'd like to use it. And I use mine for mac and cheese. Um, I also use it for cheesy broccoli. You can use it for any pasta you'd like or any food you'd like. Um, just mix it up. And the ratio is one quarter cup of cheese powder to three quarters cup of unsweetened almond milk and one cup of dry uncooked elbow macaroni. Currently in the grocery stores, there isn't a oil-free option for mac and cheese as far as I know. So this is a great option. It's clean, it's healthy, it's got a little bit of salt in it, um, but if you are SOS free, salt oil sugar free, you can omit that if you'd like. Your taste buds are already used to not having salt in your meals, so that is an option. Also, the date sugar that we're adding is optional as well. Um, I will put a link in my description for the date sugar that I use, but I've made this with the date sugar and without, and there isn't too much of a difference. So let's get started. The ingredients we'll need are nutritional yeast, whole wheat flour, paprika, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, lemon pepper, turmeric, and date sugar. Also, the recipe is in the description, so feel free to check that out. First, you're gonna get an airtight container and you're gonna add three quarters cup of nutritional yeast. Next, you're gonna add half a cup of whole wheat flour. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of paprika. After that, you're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. Next, you're gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. You're also gonna add one teaspoon of lemon pepper, and I'll put a link in the description for the lemon pepper that I have. Next, you're gonna add half a teaspoon of turmeric and one tablespoon of date sugar. Now it's time to put the top on your container and mix it really well. Your cheese powder is ready and you can now store it in your pantry. So we're gonna make our macaroni with steamed broccoli and cheese sauce. First, add one cup of dry macaroni noodles to boiling water, cook until tender, drain, add the steamed broccoli, and now we're gonna add our cheese powder. So it's one quarter cup for every one cup of dry macaroni noodles. And I'm doubling it because I've added the broccoli. Also, you're gonna add three quarters cup of unsweetened almond milk for every one quarter cup of cheese powder. So I'm doubling the almond milk as well. Now you're gonna mix everything up really well and you're gonna allow your cheese sauce to come to a boil so that it thickens. Here the cheese sauce is boiling and you can see that it has thickened up a bit and it is ready to be eaten. Broccoli. Let's give it a try. So good. So cheesy. So delicious. You have to try this. If you try it, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how it goes. I hope you enjoyed the vegan cheese recipe. Thank you so much for watching and happy plant eating.